Hey guys, I'm Tech from Tech Driven, and today I'm going to show you how to transfer content between iPhone to Galaxy and Galaxy to Galaxy as well. I'm going to show you how to back up your data from Galaxy onto the computer, just like you would with uh, iPhone and iTunes. So, before we begin on with iPhone, uh, what you want to do is go to your settings, uh, go to your iCloud, which I already meant actually. So, you want to scroll down. Go to your iCloud account. Where is it? Here you go. And here's where it is. It's you see that you have usually free space automatically. And here's the stuff you can actually back up onto your iCloud. Uh, Photos member try to download them on the computer first because they will take forever but you could do it if you want to but mail contacts all that stuff make sure it's on like it have here uh, in this case I'm not gonna back up this way I have I backed up through iTunes but uh, what you want to do if you want to transfer it easily wirelessly you'd want to copy the, the content over to the iCloud and then from Galaxy I can actually go and recover that from, uh, from uh, the iCloud Remember, when you're transferring between Galax uh, iPhone and Galaxy, you're only allowed to uh, copy contacts, emails, and all that stuff. You're not allowed to copy games or music. Uh, that is because um, this is different software, and the apps will not work on your Galaxy. And second, uh, music is copy protected. Therefore, you, uh, I, Apple protects the content from being shared through any other devices so you have to go to your computer and actually download it manually so once you do that on uh, iTunes um, you'll be all set once it's all on iCloud you pretty much don't worry about it you can put that phone away on the Galaxy here uh, what you want to do is if you don't have it already download a smart switch from Samsung this is the app right here. Chances are, if you have a Galaxy S7, you have you already have it. And if you uh, log in through initial content, it's going to bring you to that screen right here. So this software has been uh, updated, but it's still the same functions. Uh, you can do it wirelessly. You can do it through, through cable. Uh, so it gives you an option. For example, when you download manually, it will give you an option where you want to copy the com content from iOS, Android, or Blackberry device. If you have access, uh, Galaxy S7, this is how the screen will look like. It will automatically tell you to uh, uh, how to back up information. And with your Galaxy S7, they introduced this little USB connector. So what it is, it's a USB on one side and micro USB on the second side. So since uh, we're not going to back up the iTunes, we want to actually go, go from gal Galaxy to Galaxy. I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so if you want to transfer over content from Galaxy to Galaxy, in my case Galaxy S5, S7, uh, what you want to do is connect one end the regular uh, to the Galaxy S5 and the USB connection with the adapter to the new device that you want to copy stuff over to. So in my case, this is the Galaxy S7. Okay, once connected, it should check the phone for content. I'm gonna let this run for a little bit. Once it's completed, it's gonna give us a list of what it can copy. All right, once it does that, it will give you the screen with all the list of all the files that you can copy. Uh, I'm going to go click and select, and it should copy all the software here that I have here. Uh, one thing you got to be careful regarding what, what can be transferred. For example, this device is only uh, 16 gigabytes, this is 32. But it will attempt to copy everything, including what's on this SD card. So if you have apps that are on SD card, uh, it may or may not copy. Uh, the reason for that is uh, if the total data that's on this phone, including the SD card, is more than the phone itself, 
uh, which is 32 gigabytes, it may not copy all the data. This is because this is everything copied, everything that's copying is being copied onto the phone, not the SD card. The SD card is meant to be just transferred over, and that's why it doesn't always copy everything. So if you have apps that are saved onto the SD card and photos, it may not copy them properly. So make sure uh, either you swap the SD card to the new phone, or uh, you make sure you transfer that so it's saved on your phone instead of uh, your SD card. Once you know uh, that's done, you can go ahead and click transfer. And of course, we'll tell you transferring content. I'm going to click on transfer again. If we scroll down, the smart switch should give us a screen of the, all the contents being copied over. All right, so the process is over. Once it's done, it's going to tell you it's saving. And as you can see, it ate a battery, and that is because it's actually charging. Um, well, and not anymore. It was charging our phone earlier. All right. Once completed, it should tell you that it's all done. The amount of data that it transferred, and if we go back on the front screen, you shouldn't see any new apps because it's uh, you know it's telling you that you can fill it in. But whatever, whenever you press apps, you should be able to see all the apps here. If this process takes forever, and in my case, I believe it took almost three three hours, maybe even four. Uh, that means it, you did it right. If not, that means something is wrong. You should try again. Uh, just remember that uh, this is the fastest way to transfer data. The more data you have to transfer, the longer it will take. Just so make sure that uh, whatever data you're transferring is on the phone and not the SD card. The SD card may not copy everything. And, and of course, when you're copying, it tries to copy the data from the use uh, this the SD card and the phone itself so make sure you have enough space alright if you want to back up uh, your data this is one way to do it you can download Samsung KISS which is Samsung K-I-E-S 3 uh, the only problem with this software it no longer supports Galaxy S7 uh, however it does support S5 and older models it's uh, right now. I mean, I'm sure there will be a update for it that will support newer devices. But uh, right now, it's only supports up to 5.0. Uh, but you can still download, uh, back up your Galaxy S5 just in case you have all your data, and it's recoverable. So when you connect the phone, it will detect the phone. It will give you the options of actually backing up. It's telling me what I have uh, here for memory and I can actually do sync and backup so you can sync my contacts and I can back up all my files so actually I already did that but you can click on and back up at the same time you can actually restore it uh, once it becomes uh, uh, the, some kind of update comes out and then um, it's possible that it will support the Galaxy S5 but until then you can uh, you should just back up your old phone just in case, that way you can always go back at least to an older phone versus nothing. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions please let me know.